So I'm here with Jeff, and Jeff, you're back there, yeah. So let's talk to Jeff a little bit about bass fishing. Jeff, talk to us about bass fishing. What do you got? Oh, I'm blank right now. Does this look weird, my leg right here? No, I love it. In okay. fact, spring, you, that's where you're going to put the thing, right? Yeah. Good. Because I want to just, yeah, you know, it's going to be right here. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> does this feel weird? Does it feel that weird here? Does, does it look right? weird where you are? <laughs> okay. Here we go. Ready? And... Uh, we use a paddle tail worm and a soft jerk bait. Okay. We used a, a wide gap hook for the soft jerk bait because it has a harder, a, a thicker body. The round offset bend worm hook we use in the worm. Okay, good. So this, this worm really goes with this hook. Right. And this hook goes with, with that worm there. Jeff, show us how to rig that. Just start in the nose and try to keep it as straight as you can, coming all the way through. Okay. And bring your eye all the way down to the nose and then come through the back of it and just expose some of the point there. So what's the advantage of this wide gap hook? When a fish comes up to bite this, this the body of this thing is so thick that he actually pushes down and the hook can penetrate his Okay. Lip. So show me how to do the, the uh, jelly buster. What's, what's the name of that worm? Uh, paddle tail worm. Paddle tail, it's not jelly buster. Go ahead. You just start here at the head of the worm okay. and come in and look for a, a seam where this has been molded Okay. and come right out of that about a quarter of an inch down and bring it all the way up to your eyelet Okay. and look for that seam again and go right back in it. Your worm runs straight through the water okay. and, it, and it prevents line twists. Is this grape flavored? What's, what's this one? I don't know. You have to taste it. Sassafras. 